Hello and happy Thursday, which for this week is my book reviews day. And uh, today I want to talk to you about First Degree, a crime anthology from Humanoids, uh, which is a celebration of the Polar Festival of Cognac, France, which is a big crime festival, although I must say that I was unfamiliar with it, so I apologize to anybody who is familiar with the Polar Festival. Um, anyways, I was unfamiliar with this anthology in general. I purchased it off the signed page uh, through which I purchased many a book uh, because back at the end of 2022 at Rose City Comic Con, the signed page uh, met up with David F. Walker and they signed, and he signed copies of this anthology. So I went ahead and bought it. Uh, so as you can tell from this first page that I'm in here, uh, this is actually almost like a graphic novel anthology. It's uh, a comic anthology. Different, 21 different short stories from different authors featuring different artists, different colorists, uh, diff different layout designers, just a whole lot of different people involved uh, to make this uh, one hell of a hodgepodge of short stories. Different art, different colors, and so on. And uh, I gotta say, I mean, I went in not really knowing much about the anthology, I was impressed by the art, but not so much the stories. I, and I feel bad for saying that because I, I feel like this is supposed to be, you know, this is celebrating the 20th anniversary of the Polar Festival. It's supposed to be like the best of the best. Uh, it has a wonderful uh, introduction here by Bernard Beck talking about uh, the start of the festival and the festival through the years, including some highlights through the years and the people that have uh, shown up in the festival. Uh, but... The biggest issue I have with this anthology is that uh, the anthology is like a hundred and under 140 pages, which when you have 21 sh stories, that makes for some very short stories, which might be fine for like the short story medium, but this is after all a graphic novel or a comic style. So when you have short stories in the you know this medium, you can express yourself beautifully through art. But it's hard to get a full story through it. And so you wind up with stories that are just a handful of pages long. And you don't really have enough to quite build a powerful story in that time. It's almost like graphic novel version of flash fiction. Uh, flash fiction being, you know, like 500 words or less. Uh, so... Um, you get these beautiful art styles. Like, look at like the use of grayscale in there. Incredible, an old-timey uh, story. But most of the stories are just quick, few pages, kind of building up what they can, and then you have some sort of twist in the final uh, panels of it. And that's a common occurrence here. Uh, here's one in the middle, which uh, actually really didn't have anything to do with crime. This was kind of a... Uh, a Black Sheep in that it was more about lost love and didn't really feature any murder, unlike most of the other stories. But anyways, most of the stories, like I said, build up whatever small characters they can in however many few pages they have. You get to the final few panels and boom, there's a twist. And unfortunately, when that happens, you end up getting similar twists throughout all of them. Like, oh, hey, it's some unsuspecting person who's a killer or this person is suddenly a killer. And... Uh, yeah, I guess I just found that a little disappointing. Like I said, art style, absolutely phenomenal. Too many artists to, to, to name. But it's just, you know, so little that you can put within the few pages you have. Especially when you also have several pages in the back here dedicated to covers. A gallery of uh, Polar Festival posters. And, you know, there's only five pages of posters, but that's about as long as most of the short stories are before you get into the... Uh, actual bios of all the artists and authors involved. Uh, so yeah, I mean, they they weren't bad. They just, they were just short. Uh, I believe the signed page still has copies of First Degree if you wanted a signed copy for yourself. I, like I said, I'm unfamiliar with Humanoid as a publisher. I am unfamiliar with the Polar Festival. And I'm mostly unfamiliar with a lot of the authors within this. So it, maybe it's not a great representation of them. Uh... But, you know, if you are looking for short, almost flash fiction versions of graphic novels or comic books, then this could be for you. There are copies, like I said, signed by David F. Walker, which is pretty unique, uh, over on the signed page. And it was pretty cheap, too. I think this was like 12 bucks. 
I could be mistaken on that, but I, I'm pretty sure this is one that I picked up. I know I picked this up several months ago, but I'm pretty sure this is one that was on sale for pretty cheap, and I think the sale price uh, still exists. So yeah, here is the table of contents, 21 stories in all. Um, most of them aren't more than a few pages. Uh, like Encounter is one of the longer titles in here. Uh, it's six pages. I, I say that, and then immediately afterwards, it's another six page, six page, six page, four page, six page. Yeah, I mean, six pages is kind of the norm here. Uh, but yeah, I mean, a lot of them just feel short because they are short. They're beyond short. Uh, beautiful, beautiful artwork uh, for uh, very short stories. Born to Draw was really good. That was I really like that one. That one worked really well and actually told the whole story within its six pages. Uh, dealt with a young a man who, as a boy, uh, suffered from some sort of palsy. Uh, you know, so his hands were always shaking. He wanted to be an artist, but he found out that his hand was always steady when he was holding a gun. So he become turns to life of crime. And that one was really good. That one told the whole story. It didn't really have, you know, the last panel twist like a lot of the other ones did. Um, and Encounter was really good as well, uh, which is David F. Walker's one. But a lot of the ones in between there are going to be ones where you, like I said, a couple pages of trying to build up a situation or some characters, and then a panel or two of a twist or murder. Uh, but anyways, that is First Degree, a crime anthology from Humanoids. Still not disappointed that I bought it. Like I said, it was pretty cheap from the signed page. Uh, it'd be a nice book to pass on to anybody who's looking for a very quick read. I'm going to do a book review every single week, plus lots of unboxing videos in between. So please consider checking out the channel and subscribing, and we'll see you around next time.